Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Monday, and boy, it's been a Monday. We just continue to see rounds upon rounds. I mentioned earlier, it's like we are, it's like we're having a tropical storm every five days. Let me get my water out of the way. That may be distracting some of you. But uh, welcome to my YouTube page. Thanks, uh, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. But again, pay attention. We've got more rough weather coming as we get into Wednesday. Now, tomorrow, the storm chances are mainly going to be from Russellville down into Coleman County and south of Boaz and Arab. We will watch those areas, but it's this Wednesday time frame uh, we do need to watch for the possibility of another round of storms coming in from the northwest. And Thursday, we're probably going to see another round of strong storms. It's just never ending, basically. So we've got this developing 48 first alert for this uh, area in red, most likely area that includes us. And once again, we're likely going to st see storms initiate up here to our northwest and then drop southeast. And they, again, it's very hard to predict even 48 hours in advance where that uh, complex is going to develop. It could still develop here farther to the northwest and then dive and miss us off to the southwest. So it's not set in stone, but it's enough you need to be watching as we go through time. So here's Wednesday morning. I'm kind of skipping Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, just to kind of show you my thoughts here, probably south of this blue line Tuesday is where we'll see the best chance for thunderstorms. But it's this Wednesday, probably by afternoon, and the model guidance will get better tomorrow because we're not we're kind of out of range of the high resolution guidance at this point. Maybe even later tonight, I'll be able to update that. But as we continue on, notice a big complex of storms back here dropping east-southeast. This is going to be the European model. And notice how it kind of dodges us, misses us just a bit to the south. But I have a feeling that we're probably going to see that move pretty much due southeast. So that would affect the shoals maybe by noon Wednesday and then continue to track off to the east and southeast. But this model guidance here has that boundary farther south. So that would be good news for us. But it's that boundary that we've been talking about all summer long that continues to go from the west to the east. So high pressure out west and that area, that boundary bulges back to the northeast. So something to watch and we'll keep you up to date on that. 